One, another reason why uh, in our retreat we want to concentrate on the chanting process because uh, we want to get more experience of different people trying this process of chanting all the time and then see what the result is. More questions? Yeah. Oh, let me address Krishna Prapti's statement because it's very good. Iskan thought that the aim is to make a bunch of big temples all over the world, and that somehow or other, if we do that, then everything else will happen by itself. Well, it doesn't work out quite that way. What happened was, like he said, they made a bunch of big temples and then incurred this tremendous burden of maintenance. And because of that, everybody had to go out and collect money, and money became the focus instead of Krishna. That was a huge mistake, and we should all learn from this. In fact, we've learned, we're taking the opposite tack, the opposite strategy completely. Reduce the amount of maintenance to the minimum. Uh, make everything as simple as possible, as cheap as possible. So by going to an undeveloped area in the third world country where expenses are very, very low, then we can afford to stay there for a long time without being involved in any business at all. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yay. Yeah. And then we can concentrate on the holy name, on the Shastra, uh, on Puja, uh, you know, on uh, associating with devotees and try to get the result in the minimum time. But then what was the next thing? Bobby, is there an aspect of spiritual edification by retro retroactively processing the past experiences, devotional and non-devotional, in our life? Say what? Looking at them through the lens of scripture, should we be thinking of past experiences at all? Or should we always just focus, focus on what's now? Who's asking? Yeah. Oh boy. I think it's kind of a dangerous thing to uh, get caught up in uh, reanalyzing the past. Um, it's like, it's better to just let go of the past and be completely in the present. Uh, purifying the past activities is going to happen automatically. Uh, and we're automatically going to reevaluate them when our values change. It, it doesn't re it, there's no doing about it. You know, it's not something you need to be churning over and over in your mind uh, or contemplating. Better to contemplate the statements in the scripture. And those things will sort themselves out. I mean, you know, the past is over, it's gone, it's through. Uh, it's better to make a determination to engage in devotional service in the future. Then all of those things will be resolved automatically, uh, when, especially when one discovers uh, his spiritual identity. Then all that stuff will be, you know, I don't know, I've probably forgotten more about my past. Um, you know, I don't even keep like a, a file of old pictures or anything like most people do, because that's not who I am. The history of this body and mind is not, it's not me. You know, it's just a container that I happen to be inhabiting at the moment. When you rent an apartment, you don't, you don't look up the history of the building and who owned it and the maintenance that was done on it. And, you know, I mean, who cares? I'm renting the apartment now, and when I'm done, I move out, and that's it. Forget about it. So the same with this body. This body, Prabhupada, in many places, uh, refers to this body as an apartment. According to our income, meaning according to our pious activities, we can afford a particular body of good quality or bad quality or according to our qualification. Similarly, we don't think of... Uh, this body as being ourself. We think of it as just some place we're temporarily living, like a vehicle. 
And when we reach our destination, we get out of the vehicle and then, you know, we do go wherever we want and do whatever we want. We don't drag the vehicle around with us everywhere, you know. So like that, um, when, we, when we got this vehicle, this, this uh, Jeep, uh, we tried to learn a little bit about the past of just to understand what maintenance issues there might be or like that. But it's not like we wanted to know everything, you know. <laughs> when was this part replaced and who did this work and where did this dent come from and, you know. It's like, who cares, you know. They were going to have, this thing's going to break down someday and we're going to have to get another car or whatever. So it's not like we're going to get into a big love affair with the automobile, you know. It's just a vehicle. Similarly, the body and the mind are just vehicles for us, the soul, to have certain experiences that leads to our eventually getting out of this material world. So not to be too obsessed with all the details and minutiae of its origin and development and all that. Huh? Okay. Any more uh, discussions? Okay. Uh, what is the main rasa in between Balaram and Radha? Oh, it's friendship subsidiary to conjugal love. What does subsidiary mean? Subsidiary means that the friendship between Krishna and Balaram is used to facilitate the pastimes of conjugal love between Radha and Krishna. Okay. You'll find that this happens a lot. Like, um, remember there was that shloka that I quoted in a recent post that uh, we were talking with Mark about um, uh, Vatsalya Rasa, and I quoted that shloka that says, where Lord Chaitanya says, not only are all the qualities of all the other rasas found within conjugal love, but the other rasas also acquire more beauty when they are within the context of okay. conjugal love. So when friendship, friendship is very nice, huh? but when friendship is in the context of conjugal love, it becomes even more wonderful, more beautiful, more pleasing. So uh, Balaram and the other, some of the other gopas help Krishna rendezvous with the gopis and do different pastimes and like that. And so uh, they help him in his, in his conjugal pastimes. Any other discussion before we go on? Okay. So let's do... Yeah. Let's just do this... Um, Radha Krishna Giti. Jaya Radha Madhava Radha Madhava Radhe Radha Madhava Radha Madhava Radha Jaya Radha Madhava Radha Madhava Radhe Jaya Devir Pran Dhanahe Radha Madhava Radha Madhava Radhe Jaya Radha Madhava Radha Madhava Radhe Jaya Radha 
Madan Gopa Radha, Madan Gopa Radha. Jaya Radha, Madam Gopal Radha, Madam Gopal Radha. Sita Nathir Pran Dhana Hai, Radha, Madan Gopal Radha, Madan Gopal Radha. Jaya Radha, Madan Gopal Radha, Madan Gopal Radha. Jaya Radha, Madan Gopal Radha, Madan Gopal Radha. 